need to move, you need to start, you have to cover water. The paddle tilt swim bait has been one of those things that have consistently caught them. It's just a profile that gets bit no matter where you're at. Nice little chunky fish on the swimmer. Cast it anywhere, catch fish everywhere. Ever since I can remember being a kid, there was some type of boot tail swim bait. 360 GT search bait is the easiest swim bait to use, in my opinion, because all you have to do is just go get the package. It's not complicated. The one bait that you will see any elite pro on the Bassmaster Tournament Trail use, but you can also take somebody fishing for the first time and they can use a swim bait effectively and catch bass on it. Last year, early on, my niece sends me a picture. They're holding a six and a half. Caught it on the 360. You know, one of the key ingredients to catching fish is to find the first group of fish. Cover water. I've got miles of things that look good. So instead of just moving along slow, I take this search bait and I can cover a mile in the same amount of time someone else might just go 100 yards. You know, one of the cool things about the 360 GT and the first packaging, it was all right there. It's all you needed. It was a perfect head size for the body, that sort of thing. It was easy, it was simple, but hey, we all know bass fishermen. They've got to have something different. So now we packaged up the, the head sizes, made some bigger sizes, quarter, three eighths, and half ounce. The plastic bodies, you can get them separately in a six pack, change up the, the head color and the body color, that perfect combination you want, you can have it and you can customize for what works for you on any body of water that you're fishing. The really good swim bait fishermen that I've known could keep that bait at a certain depth range down deeper. And when I say deeper, five, 10, maybe 15 feet deep. And this is a new version of the 360 GT with this bill on it called the swimmer. This lip on the front of this swim bait head will help you keep this bait down in that depth range that you want it. It's got really good action, starts kicking the boot tail immediately because you have this resistance here when you first start moving the bait. But this head keeps that bait down there. So no matter how hard I wind it, it's not gonna hinder the action by any means, but it's gonna keep that bait down there in a strike zone. Got me all wet. Got that little search bait. Beautiful bass. Doesn't get much better than that. Here's another really cool thing. You see this hanger right here? You can put a spinner on there. You can put a treble hook on there. Whatever you wanna hang on there on these longer points when these fish are schooled up. Sometimes adding a blade makes it look more like a school of bait fish rather than one single swim bait out there. So it's definitely something that adds a little more opportunity for those guys who like to modify their baits. Oh my gosh, good one. <laughs> yeah, baby. This is a perfect example of what I'm talking about. You know, throwing this bait around cover. I have this little wire weed guard. Big fish a lot of times will live way back up in the cover. So being able to cast further back in there and have something that's weedless, especially a swim bait that they don't see a lot, that's a lot of times a way to get bit. And now you can just get the weedless jig head version in a two pack so you can use it whenever you want to with, with any color you want. So easy to customize. That weedless jig head's also really ideal for fishing around grass, especially submerged grass, you know, hydrilla, milfoil. You know, I want to tell you guys a couple different things that makes this so unique. It's not a normal just lead head jig head. I mean, it's really got a lot of detail and you got a real 3D eye and the hook's a good, really, really good quality VMC hook. And the thing that I really love the most about this is the keeper. Literally, if it's your first one bait rigging it, you just rig it, hook point in the little hole, you go all the way down the bait and there's a little place where the hook comes out. You know, with this way this is set up, it's gonna run true every time. Everything needs to be aligned up perfectly because you want that swim bait to swim back to you naturally, just like a bait fish would swim. It's foolproof. Good one. Good one. That's what you want to see right there, the whole bait. 360 GT, search bait, swimmer. I love it. Gonna catch another one.